you know, I'm strong, smart. I am not a victim to my detriment. I guess there was a lot of shame attached to that, that label of victim. It happens to so many women, you know, it, when it happens in your home behind closed doors with someone you love, it's, it, it's not as straightforward. If a stranger did this, you know, as, right. as, as it was pointed out to me, if a stranger did this, it would be a no-brainer. It's the, telling someone safe is the beginning of choosing yourself. I really I like think about it. if I hadn't had that, if I hadn't had a few people that I really trust around me, a few women support, a few friends, if I hadn't had them around me, how, how, how different my life would be. Just as a woman, having gone through this in the public stage, and in, the, in, in the public arena that I did it, and I am able, I have a unique opportunity to remind other women, not only that this doesn't have to be the way it is, you don't have to do it alone, you're not alone, and also we can change this. Violence against women is not limited to actual physical violence. It is also about how we deal with it and how we talk about it in the media and in our culture. And us taking responsibility for it is what really needs to change. We need to take responsibility for how we talk about these things. It's the only way that people are going to feel comfortable in coming forward, raising their voices, standing up for themselves, is if we change the system and place that keeps them quiet. Speak up. Speak up. Raise your voice. Your voice is the most powerful thing, and we, together, as women standing shoulder to shoulder, cannot and will not any longer accept silence.